Okay, example 302 says the matrix below rotates the plane some amount around the origin. Find its eigenvalues. First up, let's figure out what this amount is. This is a rotation matrix. And remember, rotation matrices look like this. They're, they've got cosine here and here. Up here, you've got negative sine, and down here, you've got sine. All right, so sine is 0.8 and cosine is 0.6, so we know that this is, uh, well, both are positive, so this is a first quadrant angle. So really all we have to do is either do, um, either do theta is inverse cosine of 0.6, or theta is inverse sine of 0.8. And if I stick that in my calculator, 0.6, if I take the inverse cosine, I get 53.13 and so on. So it's an irrational number. I'm going to put in 53.13 degrees and a squiggly equal in front of it. So this thing is going to rotate the plane around the origin. We're supposed to find its eigenvalues. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to erase this bit. And something interesting is going to happen with the eigenvalues, and after that happens, I want to go back and um, think about this rotation. All right, so just finding the eigenvalues, we're going to do 0 0.6 minus lambda. Down here, 0 0.6 minus lambda minus 0 0.8 and 0 0.8. We're taking this determinant. All right, when you do that, you get 0 0.6 minus lambda squared minus this product over here. If you multiply those together, you get negative 0.64. So we're subtracting it, so we get plus 0.64. And let's see, if we uh, square that out, 0.6 squared is 0.36 minus 1.2 lambda plus lambda squared plus 0.64. And all that we set equal to 0 and solve. So let's solve this equation here. All right, that's a quadratic, so let's combine stuff together. You got lambda squared minus 1.2 lambda, then plus uh, 0.64 and 36 gives you 1. So you've got to solve this. Now, this thing won't factor. Oh, at least it won't factor nicely. So let's use the quadratic formula on it. So we get minus b, so that's 1.2 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. a and c are both 1, so we get 1.2 squared minus 4. All that over 2a, so over 2. All right, if you do 1.2 squared, you get 1.44, then subtract 4 from it, you get negative 2.56. So we've got, a, uh, we've got a negative under the square root. So our eigenvalues here are going to be complex. But we can, we can still uh, finish the problem and find these complex eigenvalues. Let's see, two, 256 is 16 squared. So this is 1.2 plus or minus 1.6i over 2. So this is 1.2, or let's divide through by the 2. So this is 0 0.6 plus or minus 0.8i. Those are my two eigenvalues. All right. Um, so what does it mean when it has complex eigenvalues? Well, if you go back and think about what uh, eigenvalues are, remember, it's when we apply this matrix to a point x, y, if this is an eigenvector, then what happens is that point just gets multiplied by a constant. And in terms of something in the plane, it would mean, say the point was here, it would just get mapped further out or 
or further in, you know, the vector it's on would get stretched or shrunk or it might change to the opposite direction. But that doesn't happen with any vectors on a, um, on a rotation matrix. Every vector in, a, uh, in the plane, when it gets moved 53 degrees, is going to, um, it's going to change directions. And it's not going to change to exactly uh, reverse direction. So this thing has no real eigenvalues. And it has no uh, real eigenvectors either. So anyway, I wanted to do that example and show you, you can get uh, complex eigenvalues. And this is a pretty typical example of how that can happen. Okay, uh, one more example of this. Find the eigenvalues of this. And I've got, I've got the punchline uh, right below there when the fact. But this matrix, if we start subtracting the um, lambda off of the diagonal, you get 1 minus lambda, 3, 4, 5, 0, 4 minus lambda, 3, 4, 0, 0, 1 minus lambda, and 0, 0, 0, 5 minus lambda. So we've got to take the determinant of this, but we're in luck because this is a um, this is a uh, triangular matrix. And remember, if you have a triangular matrix, the determinant is just the product of the diagonal entries. So if you take all of that and set it equal to zero, our our eigenvalues here are one. 4, 1, and 5. So we get three eigenvalues there. And this one right here has multiplicity too. Because it shows up twice, but we're only going to count it once. So anyway, um, so this, uh, this fact here happens. If A is a triangular matrix, then the eigenvalues are just those diagonal entries.